Good morning, folks. This is called King's Domain Fern Gully in the heart of the city of Melbourne. It's just on the edge of the botanical gardens. It's like a little uh, little grotto where you can sit and have a cup of tea. But also, if you just look close enough, sometimes you can find some really interesting things. Uh, so I just took a wander around here and came upon something that I have actually, I have actually noticed before. But uh, now I've got my electronic uh, nature diary. I can actually record it and describe what I've seen. And it's a type of spider. Again, uh, because of my ignorance, I can't remember the exact name of this particular spider. But what it does is it actually gets a leaf, uh, curl it up uh, to make it like a little house and then it suspends it it suspends it uh, in its web that it's made and then it hides up in the leaf for protection obviously but at the same time you can just about see keep this camera still enough Two little legs that are protruding out there, touching part of its web, so that if any insect is caught in its web, it sends a vibration down and it can rush out, capture it and have it for breakfast. So again nature's uh, the, um, has evolved and the spider has utilize things around it for its own benefit again you can just about see its little legs poking out the spider might have curled up leaf with a little house and you can just about see his little legs poking out onto his web. Another great way of spiders utilising everything that's around them. But this particular spider, uh, different type of spider, is not actually on the web but there's a little sort of brook here and it's used a couple of leaves of that plant over there and some of these rocks closer to me and he's built this beautiful web and it just just so happens that the sun it, there's a there's a tree covered glade here and the sun is there's one beam of sunlight it's just beaming down and so you can just it's showing up lucky enough the web against the water underneath and uh, I'm surprised actually this camera's focus, focusing system has actually picked it up this time because it's just a beautiful design uh, delicately made with probably um, a circle going inwards and each on each one of those as it built its web there's a little um, blob of sticky 
white glue so that if an insect does actually fall on the web it sticks to it and can't escape and giving it time to retrieve it but uh, yeah it's just um, it's just beautiful there's no other way to describe it The builder's not there, um, so he may be hiding under one of the leaves that it's attached to. It's, um, The sun's gone in now behind a cloud, so it's, it's sort of lost, lost its um, just that moment in time to catch a, a beautiful spider's web. Unfortunately, the wind's got up a little bit now, folks, so some of these spiders and leaves are blowing in the wind but I just wanted to give credit where credit is due I've got the idea of coming to have a look at these spiders for myself after viewing a video clip recently from a YouTube friend of plants and creatures so that got my curiosity going so I had to come and have a look for myself 